Hello, welcome to another video by Cosmic Essence and today we are going to be unboxing this beautiful baby right over here. So this is the Science Exploration DIY Learning Toy Kit by Kit for Curious and uh, you can't see the name right on top over here but it's there and let's begin. So first off we have these three things. One is a booklet, a simple booklet. I'm just going to open it and show you. These two are cardboard cutouts for <clears throat> different elements like torch and pyramid and lantern and all of these things. So I'm going to keep it over here. This booklet essentially contains well, very simple, very simple uh, explanation, physics explanations of how to connect different things, how to connect LEDs and simple circuits. And most importantly, at the end, you can see this long list, long list of activities that you can make out of this. This particular kit by Kit for Curious, you can make 144 different activities. Another one, another thing that's right here is the certificate of appreciation, which you can put your name and write the parent signature, but I hope you don't cheat in this one. So these are the three things that are there. And then let's try to unpack each and every small detail of this box. We have these two fans. You can see that they move and uh, these are different shapes different sizes, different colors, so so that your uh, things look nice and good. And this is a double-sided tape that they've given within the box itself so that whenever and wherever you need to uh, use tape, you, can, you don't have to go and find it every time. All right, so right here, this little pouch, almost everything over here is in these pouches. Sadly, they're using a lot of plastic, so I don't really like that. I wish that they had made these pouches uh, of paper, but uh, yeah, maybe uh, if they see this video, they'll take note of that. So we have these five big switches, and this has an I-O. I means on, O means off, and these are very nice, cute little switches that you can use in your circuit. Five of them right here. Then there are two of these mini switches. And these mini switches look very cute. You can see right over there. They look, look really cute and they're usually found in toys. So that's what these uh, cute ones are for. And this one right here is a button switch or rather it's a switch that can be used for buzzer. All right, so we I, I'm going to call it a buzzer switch. So it has a spring inside it. So what happens is when you press it, it turns on. And the moment you lift your finger, it turns off. So it can be a good uh, good switch for, for say doorbells and stuff like that, which just requires you to press a button for a short duration. Next pocket over here, a lot of plastic again. This couple of rubber bands, different rubber bands, to make different activities. So I'm just gonna put it all on the side. These now, these cute little clips are called crocodile clips, all right? Crocodile clips and crocodile clips are used for, to make the connections easier so that you don't have to wrap the wire every time. And that's what these crocodile clips are used for. You might, you might have seen them uh, most commonly by mechanics that uh, are trying to jump start your batteries in your cars or in your automobiles. This small red knob, I am not sure what this is, but it looks like a stopper to me. So I'm just going to put it there and maybe in the booklet they have put it. This is a pulley. All right. A pulley allows you to uh, lift heavier things up. It gives you leverage. So this is a pulley that can be used. These two are small white colored knobs, which are essentially uh, to create this particular gap. It's one inch long. You can see it's one inch, approximately one inch long. And so you put it and you put the screw or the nail through it. So it gives this particular gap in between. It does not let the two sides 
touch each other. And these are two different brackets. And these brackets are just there to allow you to join different things together. All right. So this is the second packet, third packet. Third packet, again, some cute little fans. And these two fans are uh, smaller than the previous ones, very small in fact. So you put them, so this is like uh, to put in front of an airplane. This is probably for like a cooler setup or whatever you're trying to make over there. So two, another two fan, uh, fan blades. This, I'm not gonna open it because it's a little fragile, but this right here are different resistors that they've given it to us and resistors play an important role. I'm gonna put it closer to the camera so that you can probably see it. And they're very tiny. You can see like these dots right over here. These are the resistors. They are really helpful in making the circuit live longer, all right? So they don't short short circuit your batteries. And these two over here are capacitors. One is a smaller capacitor, other one is a bigger capacitor, but two separate capacitors. Very fragile, so we have to take care of that. Then we have these two packets, and these two packets contain batteries and the battery pack. So I'm just gonna open one of them because the other one is the same. So we have a nine volt battery. I've opened this one just to check if the battery was working or not. So this is a nine volt battery. This is the battery pack. And what this allows you is to connect multiple batteries or multiple cells put together in this and act like a battery. So you don't have to uh, put the wire between each one of them. They've done it for you. And you just have to connect these two ends to your circuit, all right? So very simple stuff, but important. This one is also the same. This one, the, these are just multiple things. So if we need multiple battery packs, we have that option. Then we have these cute little things called motors. So we have a pack with two motors, separate sizes, different uh, powers also pro probably. I haven't tried them yet. So I'm just showing it to you by uh, within the packet. And then all of these are again. So we have another two motors like this. One of them is also a generator or a dynamo. Okay. So a motor is used to convert electrical energy to mechanical energy, which is what is used in fans, you know. So a motor is used in a fan, it converts electrical energy to mechanical energy. And the another one, say, uh, if this is the dynamo, it seems like one. So the dynamo allows you to convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. So mechanical energy means the energy that we put in through our muscles and that converts back into electricity. So very cool stuff. Another pulley, this one is a big one. You can see right over here. Maybe you can join multiple pulleys put together and use it. So you, there is a groove in between. You're not able to see it in the video because of the angle, but there is a groove in between. So that's another pulley. This again is a switch. This is a switch which gets pressed. So it's a switch that you have to press like this and it uh, opens up. So it's called a click switch. All right, so it's a click switch. This is a buzzer. So when you connect it with electricity, it starts making noise. So if you want, I can show this to you. So I have the battery opened up and you can, I hope you can hear that sound. It's a very loud, uh, painful sound to be honest, but it's, it's a sweet way. So all of this can be used to make an alarm system for your own home or for your room. All right. A very simple alarm, uh, system. Again, a bunch of sketch pens, a bunch of rubber bands, a, again, to be used at different places in the activities that they've given, the cardboard activities that they've given. So uh, over there it is used. Then over here, these are different sizes and shapes of nails, 
and screws and then they have the uh, washer behind to be put behind it so it kind of goes and fits like this this so you can see right over here this is the washer that i've just put and this is the top so it looks like this all right if i remove the washer they become separate like this again very tiny thing so the video is probably not 100% clear to you because the size of these things is quite small, but they are cute, they are small, they are nice to be used. It will reignite your creativity and really help you to make wonderful stuff with this DIY kit. I'm just going to put it back in, otherwise I'll misplace them. So please, another cautionary note that whenever you use these, you should just put it back in to the package they are from. These are a bunch of magnets. So you can see that they're all sticking together and that's because these are all magnets. These two are uh, cubes or cuboids rather. So it sticks together and if I flip it, it again sticks together. So they don't really have a north pole, south pole, tendency at the moment but obviously there will be because no magnets can have a single one so if you see over here now this time i'm not able to touch them together they are, it's shifting from side to side so i'm i found the north pole south pole dynamic over here i'm just going to put it back like this and these four there are six these round ones are six so these are six magnets put together you can create a nice beautiful electromagnet with these and i'm going to make one actually in another video so stay tuned and subscribe to the channel so that you are able to see that particular video of making electromagnets then we have these scraps these are not scraps but these are scraps of wires so different colored wires black and red red color is usually for live uh, wire. That means it is carrying the current. Although when you are working with battery, it does not really matter which one is what, but red and black are the mostly, uh, are the usual colors that is used in your homes, home wiring or electrical wiring. This over here, this small little thing goes on top of your battery. So I'm just gonna get my battery again and you can see that it goes nicely on top of it and when i press it it starts working so what there is again i don't have to wrap my wire around these two ends i can directly just put this on and connect it with the circuit so helps me a lot this is a wire it's an open wire without any insulation insulation is the protective covering like this black color covering that is put on a wire so they've removed the insulation and this is just a copper wire without the insulation. This is another wire and it contains two separate wires, all right? So it has two, you can see the different colors. You can see the different colors, black and, uh, sorry, the gray and white. So different colors of different wires to be used in different places. So a lot of different things over here and I'm using the word different quite a lot. Next is these ice cream sticks, ice cream sticks because they have different activities, multiple activities in fact, where you can use ice cream sticks to make airplane or to make gadgets and stuff like that. Then we have a screwdriver and this screwdriver simply allows you to use all of these nails put together. I'm sorry that this came along. I did not mean for the magnets to come along, but this screwdriver is simply so that you are able to screw the uh, screws at different places wherever you need to. Finally, okay, we have just last two left. All right, so this, these are LEDs and I'm gonna use this box as a backdrop and you can see that these are LEDs. So red ones are very clearly visible. Green is also clearly visible. Different sizes again, there are two big LEDs. So it gives, up, it gives out a lot of uh, light and the others are smaller LEDs, okay? So if you want to make different projects, 
we have LEDs over here that you can put to use. And finally, the final packet over here is the solar panel. And it's elegant, it's very sensitive. So do not break it or uh, you know use it. They've used glue gun to connect it, but you can try this. So this is a solar panel. And along with the solar, solar panel, they have given a solar motor. And it says, only this motor works with the solar panel. Put solar panel in direct noon sunlight. Direct noon sunlight meaning at 12 o'clock uh, in the afternoon. Then change the motor connections with panel to change its rotational direction. So that's how a motor works as the uh, current in the solar panel will always be one way. So if you want to change the direction of motion of the uh, motor, you need to change the connections. So these are all the different components that are there in this particular kit. And it's a beautiful small kit. I just hope that they stop using so much plastic and start using some of the some of the more eco-friendly packaging so so that it's helpful for the planet as well. And I'm just laying it out here so that you are able to see each and every component and all the different components that, are, that you get in this particular kit. It's a nice kit. If you can make 144 different things out of a single box, that is an amazing kit to have. And it will take your mind to another zone altogether. It's like the building blocks of becoming an engineer, right? Because it helps you understand how these small little pieces work together and make something magical or something amazing out of something that you can be proud of, something you can show your uh, friends, your family members, your relatives, all of those. So these are all the things that are there in this small little box that I just opened right in front of you. So I hope you like this unboxing. We're going to start making very simple stuff out of these things very soon in the upcoming videos. So please stay tuned, subscribe to the channel and follow Cosmic Essence for more such things of DIY kids as well as exploring your creativity and getting you to think higher. So that's it for this particular video. See you in the next one.